Roby Blink gives you the agility and flexibility to analyze your data from many different angles by allowing you to easily make selections across multiple categories and measures to view the results of different combinations inside of this main chart area. The main chart presents the values of a single dimension and a single measure. In this example, I'm using the dimension year and quarters and the measure sales, but can be filtered by whatever values you select from the additional dimensions below. When indicator dots are present, you can change the measure presented in the chart by swiping across the screen. If the charted dimension is time, such as years, days, or weeks, you can view the individual values by holding your finger on the chart and then dragging it across the screen. For time-based charts, the most recent data point is highlighted in yellow, and its value is always displayed in the upper right-hand corner of the top bar. To filter the data represented by the bars in the chart, you can select values in any of the categories below. For instance, if I want to know how electronics sales have been trending in my California retail stores, I would start by selecting California using the value selector on the bottom. As a note, the bars in the value selector are showing me how different states' sales compare to each other for the most recent date. Next, I can move the yellow window down to product line and then select electronics and then do the same for channel type. The top chart now shows me the sales figures for that combination. If I wanted to change the measure from sales to number of orders, I could do so with a quick swipe. If you want to change which dimension is being displayed in the main chart, tap the data button and then select chart access. Choose the dimension you want to place in the chart. In this example, I'll pick state. Now year and quarter will be available as a selection category. So I can now see how my sales are broken down by state for electronics and retail stores and I can change to any period of time that I want to see. If I want to see the actual values for this chart I can do so with a simple tap to toggle back and forth between bars and values. Rotating the device horizontally will change the selection method from the bars to an alphabetized list with values. Blink can display a maximum of 100 items per dimension and 52 items for time-based dimensions. When larger dimensions are used, Blink can show the best or worst 100 performers for that dimension with respect to a single measure, in essence providing you with a summary report of the best or worst performers for any combination of filters.